Valve adjustments. Welcome back everybody. Previous years you would have seen as seen on TV, these days it's as seen on YouTube. Today we'll be dealing with uh, valve adjustments on the XL600. So this applies to any single cylinder. 4 valve, 2 valve, 5 valve, 400, 250, it doesn't matter. In fact it actually applies to any motorcycle that has tappets. In the V-twin you have a different configuration to a quite top dead center. But let's dig into it and uh, let me show you how we do it. Alright, let's quickly warm up the motorcycle first. Five minutes. And then we switch it off. Let's wait five minutes and then we carry on. Right, the bike is heated up five minutes. It's warm enough. Tools required. It's not a lot. We'll be removing the seat, we'll remove the tank, and then we'll get access to our valve clearance that we need to set. So let's go. Okay, so what we want to set up is we're going to remove the four caps on the top that will need a 24 inch socket. Let me just get a long extension for this. They are easily accessible but these ones still stubborn. I'm not sure when was the last time that we've been removed. Take care removing them. They can break very easily. Right, we'll get to those. You need to replace o-rings on these replace them these ones are still good i'm not going to be replacing them as long as they don't leak but we need to get the front ones out let's quickly check on that one the front one i got loose i had access with a 24 socket the one spanner that i do not like using are these. They tend to strip your bolts. Luckily for me the Guzzi has standard issue, not a Guzzi part, 24, so we can loosen that up. Fairly easy straightforward. All 
Alright, now that we've come to this point, everything is open. We need to get behind the motorcycle on this side. And I'll show you how we do TDC setup. Get your piston top dead center and we'll do valve adjustment from there. Right, for the next part of the video, you'll see we're going to go to the left hand side of the engine. I'll show you with this camera. You'll need a torch, 17 socket, and an extension. So let's quickly open up there. I'll show you on this side. Let's carry on. Okay, what we need to establish is top dead center on this engine. And I'm going to put that down and quickly line up where our top dead center is. And I'll show you that in a moment. There we have one mark, two marks. Firing. And we have top dead center. Not sure if you can see it there. There's a little T arrow inside. And now that. Will give us an indication if our rockers are loose or tight. We'll give it another 360 and we'll have a look again. It's not as seen better than it is. Alright. Get yourself a feeder gauge. I'll be doing some footage on that camera, this and then on the other. Hung a light here for better lighting. So let me quickly show you what we're seeing on this side. Okay, the feeder gauge. We'll be doing the intake will be doing 002, the exhaust side 004. I'm not sure if you can see there. Get yourself a proper, good, nice feeler gauge. And what you'll see on the adjustment screws, you have a number 10 spanner and a little flat screwdriver mark that you can adjust it. So when tightening, Obviously you need to get your valve clearance correct and when tightening it, take a long nose ply or a screwdriver, hold it on the top and tighten with the spanner of the nut. They tend to move and then your clearance is out. So let's quickly have a look at that and I'll try and get as much footage in as I can for you. At the intake, that should be 0 0.002. Get the 0 0.002 out. Remember we have achieved top dead center and all our rockers are loose. The ones that are fine I'm not going to be adjusting. This one is a bit loose. This one is just spot on. Okay, so we'll be adjusting this one. That is a bit loose. So let's get a flat screwdriver and do the adjustment. I'll try and zoom in from that side, see if you can see it. First we'll loosen up. Right. 
that's done. Have our feeler gauge in. A very good tip. You would rather have a looser valve than a too tight valve because it will burn your valves. This is a bit too tight. This is just spot on. It's a nice thing about uh, old motorcycles, you can really easily work on them. Okay, so I'm happy with that there. I'm holding the screwdriver in place. And I'm locking it up. Yes, it's there. I think it's a bit too tight. Just a bit too tight. So let's open it up a bit. Don't want them too tight. Just leave it at that. Let's get it adjusted and then we'll be back. Well that was the adjustment. 0.004 in the front exhaust, 0.002 in the intake. Um, just make sure that when you adjust it, it the feeler gauge is not tight, not too loose. Get your TDC point on this side. Some people say remove the spot lock. Uh, I don't, I just get TDC, I know where it is. Either it's up or it's down. Let's assemble it and then we'll give it a start and hear what it sounds like. Over tightening. And from here on it's straightforward. And let's see if she fires up. like the content please subscribe we've grown tremendously in the last few days weeks. and uh, we'll be doing a bit of XLV 750 stuff next week I just want to get through the 600 now see you on the next video bye bye everybody <laughs>